Alexa, why can't I buy Skittles in Europe? From the sun.com. Skittles, as well as Pop-Tarts, Gatorade, and Little Debbie's products, have been banned in the European Union because they contain yellow 5, yellow 6, and red 40 food dyes, according to NBC affiliate station WTHR. Uh, Alexa, why is yellow dye dangerous in food? Here's something I found on thehealthsite.com. It is not only highly toxic to the liver, but also known to cause kidney lesions and is a probable carcinogen. Yikes. Alexa, why are carcinogens found in so many processed foods in the United States? From tasteofhome.com. Processed foods tend to contain saturated fats and loads of sodium while processed meats are known carcinogens and can be age-producing. Mm. Alexa, what are some of the reasons some of U.S. foods are banned in other countries? <clears throat> U.S. foods are banned in other countries because they contain harmful additives, growth promoters, and genetically engineered ingredients, which are known to cause diseases and health conditions. American foods are tainted with harmful ingredients, which are banned internationally, and are designed to satiate the unaware American appetite. I'll have to take that. Alexa, why are Pop-Tarts dangerous? Some health risks commonly associated with eating too much Pop-Tarts may include increasing the risk of cancer, diabetes, obesity, hypertension and heart diseases, causing weight gain, dehydration, inflammation, tooth decay, hyperactivity, and fatigue. Damn, for a Pop-Tart. Alexa, how do food producers in the U.S. use deceptive labeling practices? From CourseHero.com. Deceptive packaging includes exaggerating package contents through subtle design, using misleading labeling, or describing size in misleading terms. Alexa, why do cuts of meat look so big? Meat processors use enzymes to bind smaller cuts of beef and pork, allowing them to form larger, consistently sized, and uniformly shaped steaks. This process, known as enzymatic beefification, has come under recent scrutiny for its impact on food safety and quality. While the practice may enhance the appearance and appeal of meat products, consumers should be aware of the potential trade-offs in terms of taste, texture, and nutrition. Further research is needed to fully understand the implications of enzymatic beefification and its effects on the overall eating experience. Yikes. Alexa, are chicken nuggets mostly fillers? From mash.com. Most chicken nuggets are made with pieces of white meat, but unfortunately, they also contain a lot of other filler ingredients that aren't as healthy. No surprise there. Alexa, how many diseases can food additives and preservatives cause? Here's something I found on reference.com. Food additives and preservatives are known to cause health dangers such as lymphoma, seizures, diabetes, migraines and multiple sclerosis. Parkinson's, mental confusion, Alzheimer's, nausea and fibromyalgia are other known dangers of food additives and preservatives. The list of food additive dangers goes on to include headaches, dizziness, chronic fatigue, anxiety attacks and emotional disorders. Okay, so they have... <laughs> Damn. All right. Well...